like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. And that is not a sight they want to see. Joe Mixon very slow to get up. More from L.A. in a moment. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. Now that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll run it with jump. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Complete. Tyler Boyd, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bengals add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Burrow now off the bootleg. And this will be caught. So the try for two, good. And it pushes him out to a 15-0 lead. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Time long, set to kick off. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. 
And this carries into the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. He's brought down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Times defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Alabama. Austin Eckler, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. Yeah, what's that? Well, that's, I used to hear my old man talk about it. it usually meant... That thing's done. Well, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 now at the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati set to take over once again. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving. Get your... And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 29. A pickup of 44 yards on the play. And but one thing's for sure. They're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. 